and service development for a group of companies that uh, provide technology-enabled care services to, to older people that are living in their own homes, and, and we provide that service so that they can carry on living in their own homes and, and you know carry on with a with an active life. We've been doing that for over 25 years now. Um, we've in that time built the the largest emergency monitoring centre in the UK. Um, and we've traditionally delivered those services through the old analog telephone network. Um, it, it's very much a reactive service. So you know, somebody would pull a pull cord or press a, a, an emergency pendant. They would come through to one of our members of staff, and they would take the appropriate action, be that notifying the emergency services or, or a care or, or next of kin. Um, we we then moved into into proactive monitoring. So back in 2011, we launched uh, a telehealth service, um, and that actually enables us to monitor people living with long-term conditions in their own home, um, conditions like diabetes or COPD, heart disease. Um, now, though, our, our focus is actually taking current consumer technology um, and um, basically developing that for the social care market. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm actually heading up a, a project which we're using uh, Innovate UK funding for, uh, and we're actually taking uh, different sensors uh, around the house, um, and we're, we're taking the information that we're receiving from, from those sensors, uh, and we're presenting that through social networking, uh, but also encompassing rich media streams, um, and presenting all of this information to people through uh, an easy-to-use tablet-style interface. Um, so for us, the Internet of Things really, uh, it comes into its own when we're talking about uh, sensors and monitoring people and, and the environments that they're living in. So, you know, we can receive an alert from somebody if, if they've not got up by a certain time or they haven't gone to the kitchen uh, as they would do in, in a normal day-to-day -day, uh, cycle. Uh, and we can actually notify a carer or, or a next of kin uh, and just let them know what's going on and similarly we can do the same with temperature and electricity usage so you know if, if patterns do deviate from the norm then you know, we can we can look at all of those different things um, and again notify the right people